guys, my name is Debbie and I'm an intuitive reader as well as a medium here and I'm here to give some type of messages from beyond. Hopefully this does help and resonate for whomever this is meant for. Let's get into it here. Do take the time to check out my books uh, all about the paranormal. So let's see what we need to see here. I literally heard I was so close, I was getting better, and I feel that this has something to do with cancer. I feel that there was definitely um, feeling better, okay, uh, healing it, and then the tumor came back, the cancer came back, okay. And then I was stuck again, and then I went through the chemo, and yeah, this is definitely cancer here. I feel that they are appreciative of everybody helping uh, this person. I want to say him, but I feel that it was it was tiring. It was they feel they felt very exhausted here. Okay, uh, and I feel that this person is married as well. Yeah, six of cups. So definitely somebody was uh, there for this person. I feel that it is a gentleman, uh, but yeah. I feel like he struggled and I feel that he tried to live as long as he could. He really had a positive attitude of trying to conquer this, okay? But then when it came back, it was kind of like downhill. I literally heard downhill from him. Uh, but I feel that he just wants to be here to express his love to his, I just heard queen, okay? Uh, with the queen of cup or queen of pentacles present. So this person, you, could be an earth sign here, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. But regardless, I feel that um, he definitely does hear you speaking, okay? I feel like there's this little bit of um, not really sure whether or not they're hearing your prayers to them here. And I, I literally heard prayers. I'm feeling that you are saying, I'm hoping that you're no longer in pain, okay? And I don't feel that he's in pain. I feel that he's very happy here. He does watch you like a hawk, definitely. Uh, and he does communicate to you here. He really does. He tries his hardest here. But there's like a little bit of a blockage, I feel, because when our vibration levels, and this is normal, this is nothing against you, okay? Uh, but seriously, when I'm having a bad you know, emotional day or what have you. I literally, like, there were days back in the day when I could not read cards, okay, uh, because I was having, I was such a hot mess emotionally over a situation in my life at that time. Uh, and I was like, yeah, there was one day I woke up, I'm like, yeah, I'm not, I'm not working. <laughs> There's no sense to it because I have to have that uh, vibration level up, okay, to be able to receive messages and kind of in a good mood, but you're rightfully being, you know, have sorrow here. So it's understandable. But I do feel that once you heal your energy more and more as time goes on, I feel you will start to pick up on his, yeah, there will be success with being able to hear him. Uh, I literally feel like there's going to be a time if it haven't, has not happened already. Uh, this could be past, present, future kind of thing, okay? What, whatever applies to you, if you've already experienced hearing his voice, I feel that you will. I literally felt like you're going to quickly turn around like, what was that? Or you saw something out of the corner of your eye, or you heard something out of you know, next to you or whatever, uh, with curiosity here. So you kind of looked for this entity. Okay. This is him that is coming through trying to talk to you. Uh, and I feel that you are going to connect stronger, uh, with this energy here of him. I feel, yeah, I do feel that he does come to you in your dreams. It might not be right away, but there is a special message. Now he's making it known that this message is private, that he doesn't want even me to know, which is fine. I'm not going to find offense. I get that, you know, but I feel that he wants to come to you in a dream with a special message, not anything like I love you uh, kind of thing or what have you, or that he is around. I'm feeling he's letting you know that he sees the struggle after his passing here and that he really is around. He loves you so, so much. And I feel that you do hear him, okay, or you will in the future for sure, but it's kind of like, 
am I going crazy? Kind of energy, you know, when you hear that energy here, you know. Uh, but you are definitely, all these cards are basically looking to the sides, you know, regardless of what side. So that tells me that you're going to hear something. You're really going to turn your energy around. You're going to turn your head and look for this energy here. But one day you're going to be really, really strong and just face the fact that you heard this person or saw them out of the corner of your eye or what have you. Because I do feel that he made it to the other side, okay? But he's got kind of like, I literally heard God's blessing to come down to visit you here. It's cute. I feel like when you are kind of at a standstill with decisions, upcoming decisions, that you're kind of... You know, you'll be thinking and thinking and saying, well, well, I just heard Henry. I don't know if that has any kind of significance here, but uh, I, I just heard that. But I, I, regardless of his name, I feel that there's definitely Hank. He just called himself Hank. Uh, but regardless of the name, I just feel that it's kind of like, I'm going to guide you. I'm going to like pop an idea in your head for a solution when there's upcoming uh, trauma in your life. Okay. Um, yeah, he wants you to turn to him, okay? It's kind of like, you may get a little discouraged. It's kind of like, uh, you know, saying, what would you do in this situation? And then you're kind of like, oh my God, I think I'm going crazy. I'm talking to absolutely nobody. No, he's really there, okay? And you might kind of shy away from that temporarily, okay? But you'll restore your energy. But you may think that you're going crazy, which you are not. Uh, I literally feel with this chick holding her ears. This is the nine of swords. Not yet you're going to be stressed or anything, I feel. But it's going to kind of get up in your head that you're going to hear him. I hear his voice here. And that is him. And that's just him. Literally, I heard putting in his two cents over situations that have been stressful to you for you to make a decision here. But as time goes on, you're going to be fine. You're going to be figuring out. You're going to be on your right right path, okay, to kind of uh, be still be guided by your spirit guide, I feel, but also him. And I feel that you're going to come up with your own solutions, you know. Show me an example. And <laughs> you guys are going to laugh at me. I have never... Before my husband passed away, I've never dro drove through um, a fast food restaurant. <laughs> I always went inside. I had this fear, like I was going to jump the curb. <laughs> Go ahead, laugh at me. It's okay. I get it. I laugh at myself. But it's kind of like that fear. You're going to conquer those fears. Maybe not through a McDonald's drive through McDonald's is not sponsoring this video. Uh, but definitely, it's kind of like, it. I remember when, when I did it the first time. <laughs> it was so stupid. I was so excited. I was like, I conquered it. Yeah. <laughs> I was like so excited I couldn't eat my french fries. <laughs> anyway, I was really going there for the kids, honest to God. <laughs> But anyway, moving on. But you're going to feel accomplished here, okay? And you're meaning not so much that, but something that you kind of feared. Because uh, for me personally, I get that energy of, yeah, you're by yourself. There's nobody to consult with. You know, there's nobody to talk to. There's nobody to figure things out. You know, and it's scary. It's very, very scary. So as simple things as going through a drive through <laughs> or, uh, you know, fixing an appliance or, you know, YouTube is great. Just a little suggestion, not related to the cars, but YouTube is great with finding out how to fix things. I tell you, uh, half the things that I've learned, I've learned Swedish, <laughs> I've learned, uh, how to fix things. I've had learned how to crochet. There's so many different things that you can do, uh, through YouTube to help fix your life here. Okay. But definitely that. So, uh, but yeah, he's going to help guide you here. He sees the stress, but just know that the, there's a light at the tunnel and how much he does love you here for sure. Okay. Yeah. You still think of him. He knows this. Okay. And he feels it too. But, uh, but yeah, all the stress, all the mental anguish of everything that took place in his life, especially at the end, never took away how much love he had for you. That's sweet. I like that a lot. You know, you're going to have some big plans, I feel. Now, they can see things in the future. It's just how much they're kind of limited as to say how much they're allowed to say. But I do feel that you're going to stand strong in your life here, okay? Uh, I don't feel like you're going to rush right into something of relationship-wise. But I do feel that he's going to be uh, sending 
you down somebody, okay? But just know that he's number one. I literally heard that in your life. He always will be, but it's okay. He's giving you the permission to kind of mingle, you know, meet somebody here, okay? Uh, but yeah, he's going to be very, very protective. Oh yeah, he's going to watch over you. You know, he's going to send the right person, somebody that is not narcissistic, controlling, and who's going to purposely hurt you here because... Uh, Okay, that was interesting. Uh, it's in the book here. Uh, uh, which one was it? Actually, probably in both books, actually. I usually don't dupe a story, but it was meant to be kind of energy, especially for the first one, um, uh, putting back the pieces. It's meant for widows here. But uh, I, I smelled the smell of my, my husband's father's um, pipe. And it really brought back memories because the only person I knew, I was like seven years old. I met him only once. You know, they lived in New Jersey. My parents didn't really go too, too far, obviously, uh, coming from Pennsylvania. But uh, but they lived down in the shore area, in different shores down there, and um, the oceans. And um, he smoked a pipe. And that was the only way I knew that that was a pipe smell was remembering um, his name was Uncle Buck, believe it or not. Yeah. Uh, and um, yeah. And so that's how I knew. But his dad, my husband's dad, when my husband was pa ready to pass soon, I smelled the uh, pipe, okay? So I feel that there's going to be some kind of significance. That could not be just pipe, okay? That was just an example. But he could have smoked, okay? Or, uh, you know, even, you know, happy 420, you know, kind of thing. This could be happening around 420 as well, April 20th. I'm not getting into that. <laughs> But definitely, uh, I feel that somebody out there, you're going to smell the scent of some kind of burning uh, essence, okay, uh, in your home right near you here, okay. There's definitely still a strong connection, even though there's a distance now, okay. Yeah, I have my opinions on that. You know, we are on a different dimension, okay, but definitely... Uh, I still feel that they come and visit you, and I do feel that he does watch over you here, okay? Continue to talk to him. He does hear you for sure, okay? You have a long life to live here. He's not giving any kind of ages, what, what he, what, uh, how old he was. I don't feel that he was, um, too, too, like he was in like the, uh, uh, I would say between 40 and 50, that's what I'm picking up. Yeah, I'm not really feeling 60, but yeah, I'm feeling between 40 and 50, and I feel that he will come. I literally heard he will come down and and take your hand. Oh, that's sweet. Uh, but yeah, that's what I'm feeling here. So definitely there will be movement again in regard to seeing each other on the other side one day. But you do have a long life to live, I heard. So that is what I have for whomever this is meant for. Sorry for the story time and the embarrassing story, of course. But, you know, we all have our individual fears, you know. <laughs> Mine apparently is to go through a drive-thru uh, at, at the fast food. <laughs> but look at all the calories I saved on myself. <laughs> That's the way I look at it. But anyway, that is what I have for whomever this is meant for. Thank you all for watching. I do appreciate it as always. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye.